hi guys welcome to pyjango tutorials so as you know in the last video we have successfully created our chat ui that means this ui and in this uh, tutorial i just want to explain few things uh, very basic things uh, so this is not a long tutorial or anything it's just uh, something that we need uh, before moving on so i just wanted to talk about a uh, higher order component or hoc so basically i wanted to develop uh, this thing where whenever we don't have any token stored in our cookie i don't want anyone to access this chat page even though all the necessary authentication related to to uh, tokens will be happening in our backend that's for sure but then also if, if let's say token is expired or token is not present in our cookie or local storage whatever we will use then i don't want our user to even come to this page i want to redirect them to login page or sign up page or anything like that so how can we do that in react like in in normal plain django and javascript we can you uh, take help from sessions but that's not available here so how can we do this in react that's where these higher order component comes into picture so uh, let me just give you a brief overview so we will create one component that's for sure like everything is a component in react so we will create one component and all the components that can only be accessed when user is authenticated we will wrap within those uh, component so you can think of this component something like to login required decorator that we have in django but like just for comparison they are not the same thing obviously so don't quote me on that uh, now let uh, i think it's good that we directly well into code i think that's how we can learn better so we can directly go into code and let's see what i'm talking about so in our uh, src folder or uh, yeah in our src folder i create one more directory i'm gonna name it utils and then in our utils i'm gonna create a new file called with authentication.js so this is our new file now in this file now this is not uh, i mean this is a component but this is not an ordinary component so what we can do we can create a very function with authentication this will take in wrapped component that means the component that will be wrapped within this authentication checker kind of component and simply we will return this uh, function this will take props now we can what we can do we can create a state variable for checking uh, keeping the track of our authentication state so i can say is authenticated comma set is authenticated equals to use state and by default i'm going to uh, keep it as false so that means our authentication is uh, state is false by default now we will use use effect hook so those of you who don't know what are use effect hook so basically whenever any as the name suggests uh, so this is basically a after effect hook whenever any changes occur to any state variable or anything this effect can be invoked if we don't pass anything in an array then by default this effect will be invoked whenever our component is mounted so let me show you what i mean by this use effect then this is the syntax for use effect now what i'm gonna do is uh, first of all i'm gonna grab the token from our cookie so const token equals to document dot cookie dot split
dot find and how we will store this cookie uh, how we will store our token in our cookie we'll explain that later but like i know what format i will keep that's why i can write this statement but for you let's say you are keeping your token in a local storage or simple cookie then it's according to it's it will be according to you how you want to grab it but for uh, me i know that i will be using http only cookie so that's why i know this format i will use to find my cookie to find my cookie this will be row row dot starts with so this is a string function basically and i'm gonna grab token equals to so my my uh, storage for to uh, tokens will be something like token equals to then the actual token so now if i get something in return so if sorry token then what i can do i can set this set is authenticated as true otherwise i can keep it as false so set is authenticated as false and here we can pass the array so as as you can see in the docs also if present effect will only activate if the values in the list change so we can pass all the values which we want to observe and whenever any changes happen in those variables in those states then the, this use effect will invoke if we don't pass anything in the list then whenever this co component mounted or whenever this component actually calls then uh, this effect will run for sure so that means for me in this case this will effect uh, this will take place only when the component is called and not after that not before that now once this is done what we can do if uh, now we can say if is authenticated uh, then we can return this wrapped component basically so i have to return this as a component and i can return all the props as well else i can simply navigate to the login page so for navigating i have to use react router dom so i can say this navigate and navigate actually navigate from react router dom and this is basically a component then we can give this to as slash login so this will basically redirect so this will basically redirect our user whenever token is not present to the navigate uh, sorry to the login page now all we have to do is just uh, return this so all we can say export default with authentication so this is we what we have now to make this work we have to wrap our main component inside uh, this without authentication so what we can do in our uh, chat area basically i want to wrap this component with within uh, with authentication so that whenever token is not present i don't want this to be accessed by user i want them to be redirected to login page in our case so what i can do instead of returning like this i can say with authentication and then pass it like this now this component will only be rendered after it is compatible with with authentication now in our app.js let me just comment out this and uh, sorry uncomment out this and comment out this and add one more route path will be chat and element will be uh, we have to return two elements so i can return them side by side sidebar similarly uh, 
chat area. The error is there because we have to use React fragment. We cannot return single element like this. So let me just remove that and paste it here. Now we are good to go. Now if I refresh this and come back to our page. Now if I click on register, my register page is rendered. If I click on login, login page is rendered. If I click on chat, you can see I'm redirecting again to login page. Why this is happening? Because in our cookie, there is not, there's, uh, not anything like token. And that's why our is authenticated state is actually false. And when that is false, we are returning the, uh, we are navigating user to the login page. If that is true, then we are returning the wrapped component. But in our case, uh, we don't have anything like token. So this is what basically higher order components are useful for. Uh, I initially, I, I didn't thought of making videos uh, in this particular topic, but like I didn't find many thing on internet. So I just thought of making this. I, I, I used it. I used personally these kinds of higher order components a lot in my freelancing projects and company projects as well. So I thought I should give it a try and explain to you guys as well what these higher order components are, are and how these components can be really useful if used accurately. So I'll share these kinds of tr uh, tips and tricks and important videos in between. And if you guys have anything on mind like what you want to know more about, then you can obviously tell me if I'm, you know, comfortable making videos on that topic, or if I know something that I can share, I'll definitely do that. It should be related to programming domain and particularly in this full stack development or something related to uh, data analysis or these kinds of things. Okay, moving on. When clicking on this chat, you can see this flickering happen. That's because we have two components. Uh, when we click on chat page, we are returning two components actually. Let me just show you, if I, if I remove this, sidebar and this as well and just rendering chat area then you can see that flickering is not happening and when i keep this sidebar that flickering is happening that's because we haven't uh, wrapped our sidebar component with our with authentication and that sidebar is actually trying to render itself, but that cannot happen because chat area cannot be rendered. So what we can do inside our sidebar, let me just remove this from here. Yeah, so I can say export default with authentication and sidebar. Now I think this problem should be solved. Yes. Now you can see that flickering is not happening because as I said, now both of our component, which are being rendered on the chat button, click, they both are wrapped with, with authentication kind of check. Uh, and that's why that this problem is solved. So that's all for this video. This is just a short video for about higher order components and all. Thank you so much for watching. And if you guys do think that these videos are somewhat helpful and really helping me to learn something new, then please do like, share and subscribe and let me know how can I improve and how a content of better quality I can provide. So please do let me know in the comments. And if you have any doubt, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help. Thank you so much for watching once again and stay safe. Goodbye.